Turn my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now first things first, before we talk about anything else in this video, I want to thank you guys personally for 500 subscribers. Last night we hit that and it's absolutely monumental. I didn't think that I would be this far even within a year. I thought it was going to be a lot harder and I'm so glad that I'm able to produce content that you guys enjoy. I'm so glad that you guys have responded so positively to the gameplays and the giveaways and things like that and I cannot wait to have a monumental 2019 with you guys. Now aside from all that guys Today, we're going to be playing a little bit of the Interceptor in the background, or this is like previously recorded gameplay of the Interceptor. We were able to actually get some gameplay of that, but as I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys with this gameplay, I wanted to kind of mix it up because previously, I've been giving gameplays and I've been talking about the Javelins themselves. Now, quick rundown of this Javelin, super fast, super agile, ridiculously fast, very fun to play with a lot of really unique animations when it comes to the other javelins like a lot of very very unique javelin uh, animations along with a lot of melee capability with and without her ult S mm, excuse me i'm a little bit gassy today i don't know why i'm burping a lot anyways that's not important guys my my bad <laughs> but point is this character very fast very agile very ninja like definitely the way you want to go if you guys want to be able to just go up to something and start meleeing things massive amounts of damage more than the storm i don't think so but probably going to be one of those two where people are going to be using this or the storm more uh, the majority of the people in the community are going to be using now if you guys have our colossus mains or if you guys have picked your main already i would love to hear about that in the comments to be honest but with this video i also want to do a quick rundown of things that they absolutely should not do and things that they should change and things like that general opinions on what can make this game better and i would love to know if you guys have any agreements or if you guys yourselves have anything that you guys wanted to add kind of using this as a as a way or a, a stream that you guys can like kind of comment on and maybe the video will get enough views and stuff that they can actually take notice of it because the key here is to be a very big part of anthem so it becomes one of the best games that it could possibly be now one thing that I think that is a personal one for me, I play a lot of RPGs and one thing that I don't want it to be is I don't want it to be like Destiny, I don't want it to be like Skyforge, I want to make sure that this game has a long standing like lifetime and with that I want there to be no nerfs. This is a, a majority PvE game for the most part right now. I say that because it wouldn't be the first time a game uh, acquired PvP in post launch DLC but this is the type of thing that I'm like I want to make sure that we are always hitting like trucks like when it comes to this game I want to hit like a truck I want all of my enemies to die very quickly unless it's a big boss then I want to make sure that everybody in my team is being utilized in the best way they can to make sure we're defeating the boss together and it doesn't seem like we're you know doing it by ourselves so that's a really big thing I want all the RPG elements to kind of co to be cohesive and I don't want them to feel like they have to nerf everything just because things are going through a little bit of something difficult now yeah if there's a certain weapon that's completely blowing through certain enemies then yeah okay maybe it might need a little tweak but for the most part i want the game to stay remotely unbalanced when it comes to things like that because like i said it's an rpg and i feel like games take away from the fact of the idea is to be the most powerful you can be in a video game nobody wants to be kind of like nerfed to be nerfed is kind of shitty and i really feel like that's one thing that they can do to make it so this game doesn't feel like every other rpg out there and can kind of keep its appeal i also thought that in the gameplay i needed i or not in this gameplay itself but in the game in general i played all pretty much all weekend and one thing i noticed was that whenever i acquired a new ability the most frustrating thing or it wasn't necessarily frustrating but it was more like irritating was the fact that i actually have to go inside of the game and use the ability to see what it does i mean yes it gives a general description but you always i don't know about you guys but for me it's easier to see things than it is for me to actually like you know just read about it and experience it it's a, it's a lot easier to see things otherwise my imagination goes off and i'm kind of like thinking it does something more and then i'm super like super disappointed when i see that it doesn't do what i thought it did you know what i mean so a preview screen could do loads and i'm really hoping that that might be something that they might be able to do some somewhere in, in the near future either post launch or before launch who knows they might have already fixed that already like i said this is just general things that i picked up along with the beta or the demo uh that i thought would be something cool that they would be changed also i would love there to be either less time or maybe a 
like a noise cue to when people go down like a louder noise cue because I noticed that a lot of people like I played with a lot of randoms and whenever they would go down they would either say hey did you not see me down or things like that or they I if I would go down that I would be like hey did you not did you not see that or like can you come get me I would have to ask them to come get me because they didn't know because there was no loud noise cue and that it's it's honestly not that big of a thing on your screen and with all the explosions all the effects going on on your screen it's really easy to get lost inside of things like that along with that there were times inside of the beta i thought that um, my audio completely dropped out now i realized that or i keep saying beta i mean demo anyways there were times where the audio completely dropped out and i really feel like that's something that won't happen but improved audio quality is something that can happen because even with the like even with me knowing there are bugs like the audio quality wasn't that amazing and to be honest that's kind of a thing that kind of happens it's like everybody throws a lot into production but they don't actually give a fuck about the audio until later into the game and they're constantly making audio improvements i feel like this is something that they can just get knocked out of the way early like i I said though it was a six month old demo so they could possibly have changed a lot so hopefully a lot of this stuff gets changed and if you guys have anything that you guys could add to this so we can make anthem the best game that it possibly can be then make sure you guys leave it down in the comment section below because i'd love to start a conversation with you guys also thank you guys everybody that's joined up inside of the noti squad that comes through every video i never thought i would actually have a noti squad so thank you guys so much and with that being said if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are new to the channel you guys already know what to do you guys leave a like down below clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on all of my future anthem content and with all of that being said guys i'm gonna go ahead and dip out peace